Pierce is a former member of the FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force. He is a retired lieutenant <coughs> for the Nutley, New Jersey Police Department. Sir, thank you so much for joining us. Tell me what jumps out to you about what has happened so far today and indeed back to Monday. Well, a couple of things. Number one, by the number of packages that we are beginning to find, this was a well-coordinated uh, individual that uh, planned to have this all happen simultaneously, number one. Number two, I'll tell you what's going through my mind right now, that that person is watching us. That person is looking at all this footage. They're listening to everything that we're saying. And, they, and that person, if they're watching, they need to know that this is not the way to communicate. Uh, this is not the way to get a point across because they are, in effect, causing a lot of terror okay. uh, to a lot of innocent I'm sorry people. to interrupt you. Could you just stand by for one second, Steve? Steve, you are in the middle of the thought that the person who did this is most likely watching right now. Yes, and, and I'm sure they heard the vice president say they will be brought to justice. They will. But it's best if they turn themselves in. They're going to get caught. The entire, all the resources of the United States government, law enforcement agencies are involved in this. You've heard about the forensic studies, the analysis, the comparative analysis of each device is going to be made. They're going to get caught. They always get caught. So it's best the person turn themselves in and let's get this over with because this is uh, going nowhere fast. It's meaningful to you, I would bet, that none of the devices actually went off. What does that tell you? Well, uh, thank God for that. Uh, uh, you know, you, you, you got to really look at uh, uh, how these devices were made, what uh, material was used, and if they were actually made not to go off and just to spread terror, or at least not to go off at a particular time, that's where your FBI uh, forensic psychologist will come and they will try to build a psychological profile of the person that committed these acts. Yeah. Um would you guys like to get in and yeah, ask so I'm him a question? Add this yeah. in. Jessica, you and I were just talking about the situation with Debbie Wasserman Schultz's office. She was not there when they believe right. the device was found. But now uh, the office has been evacuated um, after that report of a suspicious package. And I was quoting that Sun Sentinel report just moments ago with local police saying that they are looking at this. Uh, so now we're seeing something kind of similar to what we saw at Time Warner Center, where a device, su suspected device, was found. <laughs> They evacuate. They continue to investigate at that point. And if that is the case, that would bring our number to four. Steve, are you still with us? Bye yes, I am. You are. All right. So from what we know just in the last 72 hours, and, and we can fold in the one at the home of George Soros okay. as well, uh, which brings the number higher, they are okay. looking to see if these things are connected. What does it tell you if they are, and what does it tell you if they aren't, these devices connected? Well, I, I happen to believe, based on my experience, that they are connected because they've all been found pretty much uh, within 24 hours or so. Uh, it, it says to me that there is the one, uh, at least one person uh, is uh, trying to send a message to whoever, uh, and they're doing this by targeting high-profile individuals uh, look, two presidents, George Soros, uh, Debbie Wasserman Schultz, they're, they're all high profile people that may not be in line with the thinking of this individual that is committing these acts. So the common denominator here is uh, it seems to me that the person committing these acts have more of a ideological uh, dispute with these people than anything else. And wow. this is not the way to send the message. And let's hope to God we don't find any more as we move on today. So it's interesting because as you're talking, of course, we don't know the details or the motivation behind all of this. You're, you're looking at it with your forensic background. Uh